as far as what's happening with the climate now, well, we can already see. We have a perfect example of how climate system tipping points work in the Arctic now. One thing that has become clear in just the past few years is that our thoughts that we may be able to go to 450 parts per million for CO2 or even higher were really overestimating what we could live with. In fact, and perhaps it shouldn't be surprising, because the Holocene, the last 10,000 years, CO2 was only about 280 parts per million. And if we want to keep the climate fairly similar to what it's been in the last several thousand years, then we can't allow CO2 to go too far away from that. So what I've done is looked at a number of different phenomena, and all of these tell us that we had better not let CO2 stay for a long period of time above 350 parts per million, and that may even be too high. I'm just saying that we have to get back to at least that level. and. It's going to take a while to do that. And by the time we get back there, we may realize, well, it's got to really be 300 or something like that. But we, at any, the important point is that it's less than what we have now, which is 385 parts per million. So it requires dramatic changes in policy in order for us to achieve that. Part of the reason that it's difficult to get uh, the policies that are needed is that the public has been misinformed to some degree by special interests. It's somewhat analogous to the way that tobacco manufacturers uh, dealt with the uh, lung cancer problem. They, act, they pretended that it wasn't really a problem and they would pay those scientists who thought that it wasn't a problem to speak out. Um, in the case of climate change, there have been documented uh, with some of the major energy companies have uh, paid for um, advertisements and scientists saying that there's not really a problem. I, I'm trying to draw attention to that because you know these CEOs are are human beings who have children and grandchildren so I want them I want them to think about this. That's why I said I think they're committing a crime against humanity. Um, because they could cause the response to be delayed by decades and we could pass tipping points with uh, grave consequences. So I just want them to think about that.